the poise of PTSD, of gold and black colors, a picture to see. We're dashing, we're gay, we're the pride of the bay. Our war cries drag fear in the stream that we play. A tiger for me, a tiger for me. If you're not a tiger, you're no good to me. The whiskey's a small, the nose's a tall, and the body we tiger's the pride of them all. Our leaf skies, our chickens, our birds, and our coats. We'll play for their colors, no matter the result. We'll brush them, we'll slay them, they're down by the sea, and roar out our chorus for each team to see. A tiger for me, a tiger for me, if you're not a tiger, you're no good to me. The whiskey's a small, the nose's a tall, and the body we tiger. Got a big average, coming on his favourite check side in 83, but he still gets his hands to the ball first. Lunas sends him into attack again towards the half forward line. Well taken there, a chance now for Tony Hall. Over, turn of hands, handball, misses Simons. Simons has got to go batter up again, he's through the X again, around the corner. Lunas, oh what a mark, low to the ground. Beckerman on him like a second skin, but Michael Lunas has a chance for the Bays from about 40 metres out. An opportunist. And he's got an opportunity now. The angle is not all that acute. About 45 degrees. Fair size kick, however. A nice looking drop punt. It's going to be touch and go. That's home. The Bays have got their first on the board for 83. Towering screw punt to centre half forward. Well marked by Seabone. Not Seabone, it's Farquhar. Very talented player, Michael Farquhar. Looks for Simons. Beautifully done. Very clever, Tony Simons. He looks for McGuinness. The foot passing doesn't come much better than that. First recover on the half back line will be Seabohm. Gives Simons a chance. Good first quarter. Wants a lead. Into the pocket goes Sewer. That's the way the ball will go. Murphy should tap it down to him. McGuinness in there. Murphy comes out with it. Hooks around the corner high in towards full forward. Looking for somebody. Hopefully anybody. Turn ahead. Kicks long to centre half forward. Farquhar for Glenelg. Brilliant, Mark. Well, he's an exciting player. Plays it under Marshall. Haven't seen a lot of that player. He's put down. No kick after. Well, down the field. Simons has got it. A very cool customer. McGinnis. Haven't seen a lot of him. Takes a chest mark in front of Eckerman. McGinnis will probably put it into the square from there. He's a very good kick. Kernahan. Murphy's coming in from behind. Kernahan's got it. Yes, the big chap being paid. What a danger man he is. From a player that you haven't seen a great deal of, and then suddenly he pops in for what could be his third goal in a quarter. Gives you, gives you an indication of the impact that this player can have on a game. No mistake that one. Three to Kernahan. The Bays have hit the front. Four. Centre half forward. Great mark, Farquhar. He had it. Short again, looking for Simons. He plays it over his head. Lunas will give it back to the magician. Away he goes. What a top player he is. That ends up with Marshall. Murphy wants the ball short. Hartfield wants it also, but you can bet your bottom dollar they'll go for Kerrihan in the square. Well, that's a long kick. Kernahan is outnumbered. Oh, great mark, Kernahan. In day, did he use his body then beautifully? Did he ever, Peter? This lad has learned a lot. Even from last season, he filled out. You see the shoulders on the boy now. The first season, they were inclined to be able to push him out of the ball or from underneath the ball. They can't do that now. He's the one that's doing the pushing. What a top mark. And he's booted four goals for the quarter. A brilliant start to the season by Stephen Kernahan. The back of the pack at Stoopy. Puts the ball in short. Simons again. Good mark. Low to the ground. 
and Cole is not within a proverbial kilometre of that player as he goes deep into his attacking area to take the mark 30 metres out in front. Simon seems to have an uncanny knack of being or uncanny knack of being where the ball is. Pretty important in football. Simon's head on. Kick number 11, and we've only played seven minutes of the second quarter. The kick is straight through the middle. No worries, Simon nudges his first goal. And the Bays fight back. Well read this time, a chance to run us again. He wants it in short. Gives it to Kernahan. The handball will go out. The base through Tony Hall. Go in long, or the kick is not a good one. Off the side of the boot. Hartfield up. Can't bring it down. First recover. McGinnis to the open goal. He's got it. Well done. Beautifully roved. The 1982 McGarry medalist boots his first. And the recipient of the thump. Half forward line. Sewer. Simons shoots a long one in towards goal. I think he's got goal number three. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. The handball from Sewer was light lightning, superbly positioned, and the Bays have got their tenth on the ball. The bounce favours Kernahan, who goes for the big thump. Sewer cleverly out in front of Simons again. Watch him go once he sees daylight. Well played, built and ran him down on that occasion. Carey lumbers to the ball, but he'll need backup support. He'll get it from Simons find this fellow he's like a fan of as he drives in towards goal i think he's got another one goal unbelievable football he's come up properly peter marker it's amazing in four goals this quarter from simons from the center wing belton can't stop him britain cole certainly couldn't i think they might need a jackhammer across the face going to be short as well one-handed mark is it paid Sebo. good mark John Seabone will go back to push the Bays out of defence. He quickly puts it onto his right foot and finds Maynard. Maynard will play it on. Puts it wide to McDermott. Glenelga running. They've certainly got more run than Port Adelaide at the moment. Kernahan's got it. Plays it on immediately. It goes Marshall. Hartfield's on a lead, but it goes wide to Carey. Maynard. Got a bit of space. He's got Kernahan running for him. The big chap doesn't let him down. Back to McGuinness. McGuinness has set this up. He's a beautiful kicker of the ball. It's on the run. The umpire's under it. The Bays go forward this time towards the half forward line out in front of McGuinness. Now they've got a chance. Sue is well clear. If they can find him, they've got 30 metres. Well, they've set him up. He's going to get scored. McDermott does it well. McGuinness. Glenelga found a bit. McGuinness puts it towards Kernahan. He taps it over the top. Tony Hall. Oh, he went for the goal. It's coming back. Oh, it's through. Back there with him is Walsh. He in turn looks for Duthie. Duthie tries to run the ball. Gets out of it well. Back to Walsh. A long one to the half forward line. Kernahan. Out wide is Marshall. One on one in the square. Coming to meet the ball. Lannis. Kennedy gets up high, but it's Carey finally gets the touch away. Simon brilliantly to McGuinness. A long kick in towards full forward. Getting back full of Hughes there with him. I think it's the young fellow Murphy in front. What a him full up. Murphy it is. Fine mark. Two youngsters together. 17 years of age. Number 12 in your screen at the moment. And he's got it five metres out. And the Bays need him right now. Seventh kick. He certainly doesn't waste it. Puts it through for his second goal. And the bonus it is. Gets it around the corner. Duthy a chance. Takes the mark. Yes, 10 metres has been called. Plays on quickly to the half forward line. Over the top comes Leslie, can't complete it. Across the half forward line, Tony Hall goes, boots in towards full forward. Two plays on one, turn a hand, hooks around the corner. I think he's got it. Oh, what a tremendous goal, it's his fifth. Beautifully done, big fellow. Gavin Walsh to bring the ball in for Glenelg. He elects to go slightly to the outer side of the ground, favouring the centre, Stephen Turnerhand. Taken nicely there by Stoudy. He's had an impressive first 10 or 15 minutes of elite football. Play on the advantage. It was Murphy's free kick. Simon's messed it up a little. Lunnis trapped it well. He's usually deadly. No mistake. Lunnis is first. And the Bays are within a point. Maynard. Duthie. Takes a good mark. So Duthie from half forward. He and Stoudy seem to be switching a little between half forward and the centre wing. I think Chris Duthie will like the dry weather too today, Bruce. He likes the ball to run for him a little bit. 
It's a strong kick. Seabone, Kernahan. Oh. And Craig Williams was hurt a little there, but what a great mark by Kernahan. That's what you call hanging there, Bruce. He was at full stretch, and he was able to just maintain that strong position on the fly long enough to take a true finger tipper 10 metres out, 60 degree angle. Goal to Kernahan, that's his second. Marshall knocks it on to McGinn as he fumbles and gets the handball away. It's Maynard yet again to Simons. Simons has had a lot of touches, chooses to kick the short kick to Rady. But Melbourne full flight again. Rady with a long kick at the goal. And it looks a very good one. Very good bit of play there by Glenelgan. Tony Simons playing a wonderful game on the centre wing. Gets the ball across to Darrell Wright, Rady. Rady to Simons. Simons to Lannis. Left foot by Lannis as a floater. Great mark by Carey. That was magnificent. He looked as though he was going to let it go over his head. Williams went to look as Carey blo blobbed back. And he just put himself under the ball and let it drop into his big bread basket. And it is a big one. Goal. Carey has got his first. Lynn to the front spot. Far, far over the back. Taking the mark. David Frost. What a lovely kick he is. 60 metres to the centre. Peter Carey with one hand. And he's played on the big fellow. Beautiful evasion. Wide to centre wing. Now it's gone. It's Chris McDermott. Marshall. Punches the ball towards full forward. Front spot, it looks like McGuinness with Catalapis. Rady comes through. Left foot snap is going to go through. So Rady has bounced right back after being carried off or running off in the first half. He's got his second. Fortchart to Murette. Murette chips away. Well done by Duthie. He came in late and spoiled. Then tackled and he'll get a free kick. Chris Duthie. That's a beautiful save there for Ganil. McFarlane. Just chips a little one. Oh, Maynard, that was a splendid pickup. Then tries a screw punt. Watson and Marshall. Simons. To Seabone. Now, will it sit for Simons? It does. So Simons on the run. Oh, beautiful kick, Bruce. Magnificent kick. Pillsbury fell over, then gave it to Seabone. Seabone from centre half forward with a long one. Kernahan set. He's got it. He would be the best mark with Rick Davies in South Australia, Robert, one on one. Yes, the delivery is doing well. Mark, Mark Mickon getting caught under the ball again then. He doesn't read it too well in defence. I think you'll find that Craig Williams would read it better and make a much better competition. Craig's probably giving Conlon a bit of a breather. Kernahan's kicked his sixth. Six kicks. At about ten marks, is that Bruce? Done a very, very good job. Falling on top of it, LaHue. Salisbury, McDermott, Marshall. And the Bays get a bit of run. Marshall towards full forward. Garten and Winter. Summon and court. Now McGinnis with a chance. He should kick a goal. He will. And it's through. And the Bays get within 14 points. And McGinnis has kicked two. Like Carey. The second time he's taken off hands very well. Kicks this in front of the goal square. Flying high there was Garten. He couldn't take the mark. Seabone working hard. Here's McGinnis again. He was scouting that pack. And he drilled the ball through the goals. Tony McGuinness kicks his third. Goofy. McDermott. McGuinness. One bounce. Two. Then the handball. Seabone's left foot is a good one. It's a goal. And Glenelg is back in business. It's 14 points behind. Guinness has had a big last term. Stoudy with a quick kick. To Simon. To Doofy. Doofy over the top. Lannis on the half volley. Back to Doofy. He should finish it off with a goal. Drop punt. He's got it. And Chris Doofy is working hard. Glenelg continu continuing to attack. Certainly magnificent viewing for the spectators who are here. You don't see football like this. Put his hands on the back of Farquhar. Marshall. Marshall and McFarlane. <laughs> McFarlane to McDermott. McDermott now going to Doofy. McGinnis is on his own in the pocket. Burgess was a bit slow getting back. That's how the loose man's got there. Doofy's gone for distance to Carey. And over the back. Adam Garson. That's a magnificent take. Beautifully read. 
a chance to put the Bays within 14 points again, and that's as close as they've been able to get to the to the old Westy boys the whole afternoon. He's punched it through. Well done, Adam Garten, on the blind side of the tape, took a finger tipper and scored full points. His first. His third. It was the first just for a while, Bruce. <laughs> He's done a good job too, Garten. Carey throws it out to McGuinness. McGuinness is still running. See that tap on Bruce? He didn't want to take that ball with it. Sat for him straight away, which indicates he's not really confident on his good of the handball. Rady, beautiful bit of tackling there by Burgess as he propped on Rady. And coming up from the back pocket, Jim LaHoo chips it into Scott Salisbury. Coming across the centre, Peter Carey puts his hand on it, evades, gives the ball off. Tony McGuinness should kick straight. Does kick straight. And they'll score the first. Lex to do a screw punt. Doesn't get onto it correctly. Player in front, I thought Tom Woodhurst might have stopped it. But over the back, big tall fellow, Adam Garten. Strong mark by Garten. A couple of hands up there earlier in Holst and also Winter. He's tall, Bruce. He's a big boy and he's played pretty well last week. Oh. Teal giving him a lead. Duthie and Andrew Ace carry. Tried to sell the dummy to Marshall, left foot. Go to Marshall. He can't take the mark. He's unloaded unmercifully. Motlop. Rady. Giving himself a better angle. And he's kicked it. Well done, Darrell Rady. Noble. Getting underneath a Maynard with our mat. Oh, that's a splendid mark by Maynard. Kazuro. It's a long, strong kick. Marshall's a very good mark for his inches. Across the ground. Carey. It's a lovely kick. Big super to McDermott. McDermott to the goal square. That's a very good kick. It's distance. It's a goal. Fell over again. McFarlane to Garden. McFarlane doing all right in this first quarter. Marshall. Campbell was good to McDermott now. He could have gone to McGuinness. He decided to go to the goal square. Kernahan getting set. Holt, here's a gimme goal. It's through. Maynard, oh, McDermott. It was. To Duthie. He looks for Holt. Jenkins gets in the road. Winter court. Not paid. Holt claims the free kick and he'll get it. Now that's a beautiful decision and a very good bit of thinking by David Holt because he... He didn't dive on top of the play, and he just held his cool, and the ball not being knocked out. John Seabone, Seabone over the top. Craig Stoudy to Duthie. Duthie from half forward with a drop punt. Across the face of goal, Jenkins Brady rips it off him, and he's going to be paid the mark. Kerry with a long handball to Maynard. Maynard had to wait for a long, long time. McGuinness got around Button easily. Left foot. Started the game brilliantly, McGuinness has had a quiet second term. McDermott to Marshall. No, just three. And here's a chance. Might lock to the goal square. Holst. Well done. Used the body well against Winter. Got underneath it and he's taken the mark. I said to you, Bruce, a moment ago they have to put three constructive plays together in a sequence to get themselves running. They've done it and immediately they're going to get a score. And it's a full score. O'Dwyer puts his hand on the ball. I think he's fouled things up a little bit up there. He's not quite as decisive. The mill rebound into the half-forward line. Carey out in front. The second time he's taken a mark. Over the top. Wasn't a good handball. Duthie receives. Holst. Holst in towards the centre-half-forward. He's given Kernahan a run at the ball. It's a very good kick. Kernahan's put down. Warriors will be holding the ball. Hine. Garth. Hine just tapping it forward again to Marshall. If they're going to tap it forward, they better get someone there because Galil is starting to take it away every time. But Stringer gives it to McDermott. It's a nice bump. McDermott kicks it into half forward and Kerner hands up there. He takes a very good mark. I think he might be the best full forward we've got in the state, you know, Bruce. He's got a great pair of hands, hasn't he? He's had a really quiet day today and until the last couple of minutes. Well, he's, got good, he's done all right in the ruck as well as could be expected. But he's very good up in that forward area. But you can't have him everywhere. Whilst Galil Plame is a ruckman, I still think he's a pretty good full forward. He's given the job of mining Rocky Roberts early. Not now. Salisbury through the centre. Giving Carey a chance. 
did that very cleverly to Marshall. Now Marshall had time to balance and kick a goal. Marshall's second. Maynard with a long handball to the space. Stoudy. He's a neat player. Carey. Warhurst. Now here's a chance for Hulst. He's going to kick his third. Yes, he has. He's got Kernahan short. Over the top. Neagle hasn't committed himself just yet. Now he didn't. Simons took it to Motlop. McIntosh put the pressure on. Hull sets himself and then takes a fine mark. Yes, quite right. Winter looks for Jenkins. He's in trouble. <laughs> Good tackle by McDermott. The highs of it. Scooped up by McGuinness. Motlop, left foot goal. In front, Dillon couldn't take the mark. McInerney puts it out towards Peter Carey. The big fella is caught. McDermott got that over to McInerney. The diminutive of Rover puts that to Duthie. Duthie lines the goals up. The kick looks to be a good one. It's through. The Bays have got another one. Bazzoli to the half forward line. Doesn't give Lindsay much chance. Great mark, Parkland. Beautifully done. He was under it all the way. Peter Carey. On the lead is Lannis. Oh, set him up. Not a good one at all. He's going to get the ball from the rebound out wide. Marshall, 40 metres out. Hooks around the corner. That looks a better kick, David Marshall. He's got it. The Eagles are four points. Knocking it away, Kazuro. That's McDermott. Farquhar long to Carey. Carey snares the ball. The big chap showing some pace. Kernahan on a lead. He won't quite get there, but he reads it beautifully. Back to Duthie it goes. He's playing well, Duthie. Clears the tackle. Lines them up. Not a good kick, but in front, Murphy. Stringer in front. Kick number five, Hannah. That's, Kaz uh, that's Kazuro in back, not Stringer. Simons. Read the ball well, handled it perfectly. The kick, I don't know that he meant that, but it ended up with Michael Murphy. He eventually decides to go long, and he does get plenty of distance. Kernahan in front. He got bumped out early, but then came back again and took it on the second try. Well, that was a good mark. Now, he shouldn't miss from here. He doesn't. The Bay's not playing well at the moment, but Torrance just too good. Around the corner by Maynard. Finds in the pocket. Lunas, is it? Oh, that kick is coming back with the boot. I think he's booted it. What a goal. Yes. Oh, I think it was going well offline. I thought it was going to miss by two to three metres. Kernahan in front. Didn't take the mark. Picking up. McFarlane to McGuinness. Through it goes. Well, what a good start to the third quarter. Kernahan gets the easy fly. Chance to Marshall to let the football behind. Close to the line. Cleverly keeps it in play. High up towards full forward. The bodies go in. Quickly Flanagan. Here's a chance. McGuinness. Round onto the left leg. Into the open goal. He goes. Going up. Oh, touched off the fingers. Hasn't got a foot in it, Peter. That's one thing I can tell you. Not yet. Kernahan, McFarlane, goal. That's how easy it is when you know what you're doing. No short. Schimmelbush. Salisbury intercepts. That was good work. Farquhar back to Salisbury. The handball put him in trouble. Garten to carry. On to Marshall. One out. Kernahan. See, that was well done, Flanagan, but he went too far. And Kernahan is going to get the free kick for illegal interference. A bit technical. Kernahan wouldn't miss that. And Phil Moore's got a very tight angle. He improves it now. Kicks into the man. Good football there by the, the middle player. And that was Duthie, was it? No, that was Scott Salisbury to come across and smut. The hand of the mouth. He must be pretty pleased, although he'd won a lead. Seabone did it well. Although he cleared it to Dillon. Motlock did it even better to McDermott. Garten comes down. The ball goes past that player. There's McGuinness. The handball to Simons. Well, Simons dropped it. The cut is well low. He'll swing it to full forward. Kernahan on the lead. Punches it away. Walsh for the Tigers. Back it goes. The fullback and the full forward have another go at it. McInerney for the crumbs. He will finally pick it up and does. Back to McFarlane. A running shot. No, he goes short. Kernahan's got it. Carey up, no mark. McInerney's the scout. 
doubles around again. Short he goes. Carey's got it. The big chap lines them up. Well, one then caught and goal. The first to carry. McDermott from the half forward right flank. Kernan, who's had a tremendous battle with Flanagan, gets the leap away. Fine mark. Nothing can Flanagan to do on that occasion. No, Brendan Howard's going to get it. I thought he pushed Pake, who then went on to Howard. Doesn't make much difference, so that's a very poor kick. Tony Hall with a quick handball. 12-3 on the run. And Brendan Howard will be disappointed with himself. 12-3's got a goal. And he's a lovely kick. Davies. But not this time. Far, far a strong mark. McDermott. McFarlane. With a fly. Tony Hall. That's a very good mark. The Pake's got it. Salisbury's running down. Scott Salisbury's free kick it'll be. Quickly plays on to Dinning. In direct Lanerk. Salisbury obviously not happy. McGuinness. Still McGuinness. Right foot. I think it's home, Robert. It is. And the McGarry medalist has kicked his first goal. No one able to gather at the moment. Till Carey gets his hand on. It's a beautiful pick up by the big guy. Gives it across very, very accurately to Tony Hall. Tony Hall just as accurately through the sticks into the man on his mark. 12 tree. Quick left footer. And Garton's got it. It's a very good mark. Judge that perfectly against Downs. Body for body. Just can't afford to miss these. And has it. Garton's first. Hargraves and Carey. Body against body. Carey barges his way through and then kicks strongly and straight. And the captain's got a goal. Maynard takes his eye off the ball. Motley goes in a bit slowly for the tackle and enables Maynard to get the kick. Nice mark to Tony Simons. He just drops that into his tummy. No trouble with distance into the breeze. Or Kernahan. Pay. Hung up there forever, it seems. Magnificent leap of the Kernahan. Then short to Simons. He's usually a good kick, Robert. It's a fair way out. Oh, he's only got to time it, Bruce. 55 metres, if that breeze is still there, he really gives it a charge. 10 metres through the goals. Simons is first. Didn't read that at all well. Tony Simons quickly to the fall of the ball. He attacks the goal. Another beautiful drop punt. Downs can't take the mark. Clear ahead. Picks it up. Like a little rover. Kicks the goal. Seabone running towards the opponent's goal, which is one thing the defenders don't like. Well done, John McFarlane. Peter Maynard, but Duthie on centre wing. Duthie takes the mark. Straightens up quickly, that's a good bit of play. Then straight into Peter Carey he goes. Carey in front marks the ball. Carey's kicked one today so far. Screw punt. Going to wobble very close, it's going to be a goal. So that's two goals to Carey. Now, Robert, he boomed one from the Adelaide Oval about three or four weeks ago from about this spot against South Adelaide and goal. I wonder if he can do it now. I saw him do one in the grand final. Didn't get the tail on it, Bruce, dropping into the goal square. Hutton from the front. Make a bit of confidence. Russell Hutton on the take. He can't get his hands on it. Beautiful shot by Katie McGinnis, though. Wobbling high in the air. I think she's just might have slipped around the goal post. And bounced down. Bill and Kernahan, Kernahan laying it out towards the boundary line. Motlop up the centre wing. David Marshall running around the boundary line. He gets most of his kicks a little bit wide at the moment. He didn't early in the match. Tony Simons, who's played well at centre wing today. Peter Carey. McDermott to Marshall to Simons. Here's that kick again, Bruce. That little kick that just runs up the half forward. It's a great take by Motlop, though. Back to Marshall. He punches that towards Kernahan to 12 tree. Hasn't had many touches. Kernahan playing around with it. McDermott, very strong kick to the goal square. Front position, Hall. I thought that Zubernick touched it, but Hall's been paid it. Plays on, goes back and finds McGuinness. Kicked off the ground by Hollis. Hay follows up. Taken by 12 tree, gives it to McGuinness. Kernahan now, he's only got to kick it straight. And tells you what happened to Baza Wild. <laughs> Carey. Dermot knocks it forward to Motlock. Hits the umpire on the head. Simons takes it back. And rolls it forward. Finds 12 tree. Beautiful evasion. Touched off the boot. And through from behind. 
Who knocked it on? Wilson overran the ball. And they're back into attack again. McDermott gives it to 12-3. Now McGuinness, can he miss again? Not this time. He's too close. But Farrell, who's played a magnificent set of half, second half, gets the ball to McGuinness. Coming in late on Marshall, direct charge. Marshall to the pocket with a missed kick. Great half by Salisbury. Ball hit forward by Kernahan, picked up by 12-3. McDermott gets the ball back to 12-3. He's a good player, Leon 12-3. An easy goal for Tony Hall if he can kick straight. And he can. Nothing. Simons, well done by 12-3. Nothing happening though, Bruce. Marshall, McGuinness, big kick coming up. Is it long enough, straight enough? It's at the post. It's the second time Glenelg have done that today. Graham Campbell's expression says it all. Takes Barbary on. Through the centre with a long one. Can Carey take a big mark? Tony Hall kick. Got to move it quickly. In front of the goal square. Turn hand from behind. Who am I saying that Tom Worth likes to spoil? He's a good spoil to spoil that one. Stephen Kernahan high, doing what he does best, taking a well-judged overhead mark. McDermott, Simons, Lelg into attack quickly. McGuinness puts his hand on the ball, gives the handball out to Hall. Hall to McGuinness, quickly onto his boot and into the square. And Kernahan in the front position, able to take that dipping mark. Warhurst with no chance whatsoever. Tony McGuinness obviously trying to get the handball away today. Bruce, he really looked for that one, gave it off quickly, didn't take any chance to use his electrifying pace. That's not bad thinking either, because he touches the ball often enough, and if he can create a couple of those opportunities, the team will better. That's a better kick by Kernahan. So 1-1 one, one to Stephen Kernahan. So Graham Campbell, he should be fairly pleased. He's obviously very pleased with the performance of the team in the last few weeks. Back to McGuinness from Maynard. Kernahan. He's hit a handball the last ball, Bruce. That's where the player would have kicked it from. Kernahan to centre half forward. Noble and Thomas both fly. Alan Stringer. Tony Hall. Leon Twelvetree. Goal. Well done. Perfect example of what happens. You don't need a lot of room when you give the handball as long as you give it accurately. And that handball was given to Twelvetree whilst he was on his leg and at full pace. And even though he probably only had about half a metre on his Nord opponent, that opponent didn't even, even lay a hand on him as he just went in to kick the goal very easily. McIntosh to the wing. Kernahan's OK. He's flying with it with Button. Seabone, a spectacular mark over the back. Fantastic. What a great mark. But doothy has got in there as McDermott takes possession, gives to Marshall. Marshall more directly than we've seen him for a while. Over half forward. Salisbury misses the mark. Stringer takes. Head of Noble onto his left foot. But through for a behind only. Tom Warhurst to the outer side. Ferring in front. Carey just pushes him out with his leg. Well done, big fellow. Recovers to Marshall. Marshall over half forward to Stringer. Stringer's got back too quickly. Malcolm Noble a little bit loose, looking for the play, running down the centre of the ground. And he went forward with the ball as it was kicked in by Tom Warhurst. And then was caught underneath it when Peter Carey gave that handball across to David Marshall. And Alan Stringer with an opportunity for his third score. The first two have not been majors, but this time it would be very handy for the Tigers. Oh, it's a powerful kick too. It's one of those low kicks that just soars through the air. Fourth kick to Alan Stringer and his first goal. Peter Kerry did that well. He positioned his body well with a kick out and he got the ball to Marshall. Marshall's left footer. Noble caught out of position. Stringer chipping in, taking the mark and then converting. So that Almost. Salisbury kept his foot. Then he didn't. Then he <laughs> fell over. Feet, I should have said. McGuinness virtually to himself. He's on one leg at the time, Bruce. Here's a chance for Duthie. Missed it. Now 12 tree. McGuinness is with him. Bays with a chance here. Schmal tries to run him down. Tony Hall to McGuinness in the pocket. This will take a good kick. He's done it. Goal to McGuinness. The Bays are in front. 4-6 to 4-2. What a magnificent movement that was by Tony Hall. It looked all too easy. As he just ran around the Nord player. And one would have thought that he was in a little bit of trouble that he perhaps couldn't have got clear, but the Nord player never as much as put a hand on him, which is an indication of just the balance and the skill that that young fellow has got. 
Lead from Marshall. Marshall dummies the handball, then goes straight in quickly to the half-forward line where Leon Twelve Tree gives possession. To Stringer coming up from half-back. He runs straight it's at the goal. goal, and I think it's hit the post. It has just hit the post. What bad luck, a beautiful movement there by Glenelg. The half-back flanker running through the half-forward line, had a quick look, sized it up, and kicked a, a low score. High kick. Stringer and Noble. It's now Stringer, did that well. Over the top to Hall. Hall should walk in and kick a goal. He does. Glenelg 5-9, Norwood 7-5, and Tony Hall's got his first. Well done, Alan Stringer. Yes, that was a good bit of play by Alan Stringer. He took that ball, kept his eye on it, and then quickly gave the handball over. But, of course, the play coming from that half-back line then. Glenelg rebounded very well up to half-forward, got themselves running. And a quick handball by Stringer on the turn. Didn't try and dodge and do it himself. And Tony Hall, an accurate kick. Kernahan in the ruck against Michael Annie. Michael Annie always comes in from the side. Bounce really gave nobody a chance. Salisbury, Neagle tackles him. Back. He's going to get a free kick, Salisbury. Yeah, well, he's the one who falls over all the time, Bruce. Handballs it away. Maynard, and he goes to half forward to McGuinness. Tony McGuinness to the goal square. Carries underneath it, puts his body in square. Warhurst with a fist away. Well, I thought that was as good a sport as you could see with his right hand. Maybe he touched Peter Carey with his left. But that, to me, looked like a magnificent spoil. The umpire not pleased. Carey very pleased at the moment. He seemed confident, Carey. As soon as he heard the whistle, he knew what was happening. But Warhurst kept his eye on the ball all the way, didn't he? Yes, he must have touched him with his left hand, Bruce. Peter Carey. He's got it. He was barracking, too, as it went in. So Supers kicked his first at 399 in his career for Glenelg. I wonder if he'll get his 400th today. 12-3 from the pocket towards full forward. Carey on a lead. Tony Hall barges his way through. And then he kicks a goal. The Bays are in front. Hall's kicked two goals within a minute. Very calm on his disposal. Something that wasn't happening in the first half by both sides. Seabone from the back. He's taken another magnificent mark. Vardaniger gives it to Jarvis. Jarvis in towards Button. But a very, very well-judged mark there, taken by Hewitt again. That was a good mark, Robert. Yes, I think he might have gone over on his ankle, Bruce. It's going to come off anyways. McGuinness takes the kick from the pocket. And it is a long kick to the square. They're all up. Ferry puts his head Scouting where he ought to be scouting, in front of the pack. Needle running on. Good tackle by McDermott. Not much in the breeze, nor would have got what breeze there is. McDermott round his body, Stringer, McGuinness. McGuinness has played reasonably, he hasn't had a dominating game. Kernahan almost, Motlock, Simons. This is an important kick by Simons. Oh, geez, got Robert, that's what they wanted. If he can finish off his play, it'll be of great advantage to the Glenelg side. A great mark, mark at the centre of the ground, or near centre, by Chris McDermott. And here comes the rebound now. Nope, Kernahan's messed the play up. He's missed the body, but Duthie's got the yards. Up to 12 tree to Duthie. Beautiful movement by Chris Duthie. Into the pocket. Still with Button as he tries to get it to McIntosh. Now he's got Michael Ace in the pocket if he can get it to him. He saw him too late. In fact, he hung on to it too late. Well done, John Seabone. I don't, I don't think he even saw him, Bruce. He just was going to have a slam at the goal then. I think he's got glazed eyes at the moment. Michael Annie spoiling forward, beautifully scouted by Carey. Gets it across to Duthie. Lauren Stringer takes a slips catch. McFarlane's there again. The ever reliable McFarlane. Peter Carey. To full forward. Kernahan. Oh, good mark. They love him here at Glenelg. The young champ was the old champ of the young champ. Carey to Kernahan. And oh, what an important kick. The Tigers want a good start. They want Kernahan to put this one through the middle. And he has. The Bay's in front. Put this ball right into the goal square. I haven't seen him kick a long ball yet, Robert, so I don't know how far he can kick. Ball coming back with the wind. Kernahan's there again. What a great judge of a mark he is. Going to be on a fairly acute angle, though. He marked the ball. 
almost in the goal square it was. It was, it was further in the goal square than where the player's standing, the mark, I would have thought. That's Ben Harris. He plays on and kicks a goal. He's confident the best kick was good enough. Kidney. Well done, Kidney. It's a goal, isn't it? Two goals for the little fellow, Robin Kidney. So McFarlane with a long one. He wants Carey. McDermott. Holst on a lead. Harris with him. Simons and Holst get in one another's row. Holst back to McDermott. He's got to get a right bounce. He does. Then round his body. Ebert should get it. Touched it just in time. Stringer. Anderson caught by Kidney. Stringer on the up to McFarlane. McFarlane goes wide. Sewer will get it. McFarlane's playing very well this afternoon. Sewer across the ground to Marshall. Well, they'll get a bit of confidence now. Marshall's got to get it in long, I think. Hewitt, round his body to 12 tree. Now he's got Sewer in the pocket. Sewer shall kick a goal. Long handball, Fed will kick it. Marshall backward of the centre line. Kicks it about the distance of the square. Ralph Sewer. Spectacular mark. Lanell can verge on him though. Now Walsh after McDermott gave it to him. High one. Carey. Oh, Sewer almost. He almost. Oh, what a He's great He's hung there ball. forever. Marshall. Marshall spins out and then kicks and misses. He's got to kick this down the line, Bruce. They've just got to play safe. He's Jeez, a good it. kick, isn't he, for a young man? Timed it beautifully. 12 tree. One bounce. Two bounces now. He should kick a goal. He has. to nail in the coffin. That's really rubbing it in. Scott Salisbury. Salisbury from the back pocket. That awkward kicking style, but he kicked that one a long way. Russell was up, couldn't take it. Tony Hall back on the ground as well to Duthie. A Duthie towards Kernahan. Harris in the front spot. Oh, Sewer did it well. He'll finish it off. So Ralphie's got his first. That's his first goal in league football for a long, long time, and he loves it. For Plesha, now Sewer, who's played very, very well today. Still with Sewer. Still with Sewer. Has he kicked the goal? He has. Oh, what a goal. Well done, Ralphie. Do you think he loves it, Robert? The crowd are gone wild. The grandstand is red and, red and black, I was going to say. That was last week. Black and gold flags everywhere. And Ralph Sewer is running the ball between legs. Post Glenelg's 12th goal. Johnson sets himself super. We're only just over 10 minutes into the quarter. Harris kicking the outer side now. I'm a bit amazed he didn't do it earlier. Spoiled away by Johnston. The handball by McGuinness. Finds McDermott. And Chris McDermott really sewing the game up for Glenelg. Piles it through the centre. Anderson gets rid of it in a hurry. He wants Johnston. Holst. Now Anderson again. Oh, McDermott did well to Holst. Holst will go to the goal square. And there's Kernahan on his own. He's got it. What a kick by Holst. He knew it. And he goes. He's kicked three. Well, they wouldn't want to let Port Adelaide kick two or three goals on them, Bruce, and put themselves within ten goals at three-quarter time, because there's a definite possibility that to kick ten goals. Turnham with a fine mark to Marshall. To half-forward, Eckerman running across. He doesn't take no more than Ebert Sewer. Ebert hasn't got the pace to stay up. McDermott, 12 trees, a deadly kick. Oh, what a magnificent evasion, Leon, 12 trees. He walked through there. Just evaded, made it look an absolutely simple play. Long one, now Curtis, he's had a very quiet game. Wants Dwayne Russell, young kidney over the back. Huppets. Jim McDermott's football in this turn's been terrific, Robert. 15 metres against Dwayne Russell. Carey in front. Off hands to Sewer. 12 tree count. Sewer gives it out quickly to Duthie. Duthie to McGuinness is on his natural leg. He's only got to kick it straight. It went straight and fast. And McGuinness. Pummels a goal, his second for the match. Johnston, Walsh, oh, good mark. With Kernahan, Kernahan hitting it forward. Picked up and kicked away by Kidney. Just 
too high for Ben Harris. Terry just resting on the back of big Ben Harris and then just runs it down his arm. Lovely ball control. Through the goals by Peter Carey. Uh, euphemism for that would be an enthusiastic throwback. <laughs> Carey in the middle. Well done by Hall to Sewer to McGuinness. Oh, goal. Three to McGuinness. Now Evans. Still Evans. Smothered by McFarlane. What a game it's now it's played, Robert. Oh, terrific game, Bruce. Like his first quarter when he set the game up for Glenelg. There's no, I know they won the toss, but Porter they win to attack a couple of times. Evans missed a couple of goals, but McFarlane been reliable as you like all day. That was terrific play by Clifford then when he knocked that ball out of the Glenelg players' hands. On a beautiful half volley take. And Simons is back on the ground for Glenelg. I missed who went off, Bruce. McDermott, the kidney. Mark Hewitt it was who went off. Holst. Now a chance for Tony Hall. Really puts his leg into the ball too. That was a confident kick. There's no way he was going to miss that kick. He kicks his first goal for the day, Tony Hall. McGuinness. Still with McGuinness. Over the top. Maynard. Timothy provides some run. Punches it hard and long to Marshall. Marshall to centre half forward. Carey. Kidney. Oh, he should have got rid of it quicker. He wanted to go to Sewer. Now Robertson. Now McDermott. Now Holston. Now go. Through it goes. All too easy. 2-2 two -two to Holst. Kernahan still jumping. McDermott. Hewitt. Oh, good handball on the up to McDermott. He tucks it under his arm. One bounce. He's got Sewer. Ralphie's the good kick on the run normally. Decides to go with a long handball to McGuinness. It was too long in the end. McGuinness' the snap is a very good one. He just kicked his ball. Oh, he's in a bit of form, Tony McGuinness. He's loving it. Like maybe 10,000 people there expected more than that. Craig under pressure. Tight tackle there. The free kick goes the way of Leon 12-3. Spiel wants it and gets it. Now Hollis. He can't get through Kidney. A great tackle and uh, you know, I think the correct decision for a Kidney free kick. Reminiscent of Port Adelaide last week here at the Bay Oval. Good catch, Kernahan. Do oh, he meant that one? Got it away very easily. Kernahan coming from behind again. Up he goes. Great mark, Kernahan. Spiel knocked away. Barbary Hollis. What a handball intercepted well by Salisbury he gets the kick away McDermott's got it gets a kick away but it's a danger kick Simons from behind McGuinness in the pack good mark Holst is on a lead strange to see Holst and a half forward takes the mark out in front of Reed plays it on coming in as Hall good lead good mark Tony Hall player with a lot of ability Plays it on, Sewer. Sewer's going to play it on too. Kidney, gee, a lot of possessions the Bays, but they've now got a chance. I understand that he can kick them, but uh, the proof is in the eating. See, that was dead centre. Shrugs off the tackle. Well, Holst intercepted the handball. Holst kicks it forward. Carey and Sims again. 12-3 out to Sewer. Sewer has got players all around him. He finally gets clear. Tony Hall under it. Magician Sewell when he gets it. Motley on the half forward line, hooks it back towards the pocket, going to meet the ball there as Gavin Walsh and takes a fine mark in defence. Well, that was a top mark. He uh, picked that ball up inches from the ground. Tony Hall plays it through the middle. Oh, that's a dangerous handball to Salisbury. He backs it up well, though. He's like a Sherman tank as he goes through the Sturt defence. That's going to set a half forward. McGuinness came in, so did Carey. He's got it. Over this side of the ground, it's 12-3. Oh, a walk in goal. Went off through the gate, or even on a stretch, you can come back on the ground, of course. Quickly jammed onto the boot of Pelfrey. He's got goal number two. And now the crowd comes to life. That's where your spark's coming from, Peter. 12th tree and Sewer across the half-forward line are getting into the action. They couldn't in that early part of the game. Kidney puts them into attack again. Out lumbers big super carry. How it goes down. The chance McGuinness caught on his wrong foot. Hooks back a magnificent goal. Bounces through. Wrong foot, his first. McFarland read it well. 
Goes short and finds Hall. Hall takes off. Have a couple of bounces. Simons now. Gets past Derrington easily. Gets past Spiel even easier. Sewer, good mark. Stood his ground and took it high. Now Sewer can just about get the distance. Kick number seven. He's going to go for the torpedo punt. He's giving it a big chance. It's coming around. It's coming back. Oh, I think he's beaten it. Two goals, Sewer. Salisbury playing well in defence for Glenelg this quarter. He's been a very attacking player. Davies came down. Salisbury snared it. He gave it to McDermott. He'll go along. He always does. Carey this time behind Sims. The big chap's got it. Oh, just a bit too big and a bit too powerful. Carey to hand. Puts it high. Holst is going to come in from behind. One hand up. David Holst is lining it up as though he can kick this. Very little breeze here today. Holst kick. Gets plenty of distance. There's a big leap from behind. No mark. Hands from three. Oh, he's got his third. Out here now towards McDermott. He didn't take long to recover. And the umpire lets him play on. Doocy crashes his way clear. Puts it up towards Sewer. Can't quite. Need support. He's got on the left leg. The youngster hooks round. I think he's hooked the goal. Oh, what a magnificent goal, Stephen Kernahan. His first. Did it like a rover. The Bay starting to get on top in this centre square now. As 12th tree can't get it out, but he goes in again. Does that well. Gives Big Super the chance. Jams it onto his left boot. An awkward one in towards Kidney. Kidney reads it well. Out wider still there is Simons. Crashes one tackle. Heads towards goal. Puts it in the air, gives it a chance, and hits the post. The Bay supporters can't believe it. Exciting football at the moment by the home team. Normally a good shot at goal. That's going way across the front. Kernahan from behind. He's got it. Oh, what a great mark. Oh, Simon's well clear on the outer side. Wilson bearing down on him at the moment. Simon sets it up. The running player out there is McFarlane. Almost run down by Derrington, but the pass away now to 12th Tree is good. 12th Tree quickly battles on. Looks for a handball. Holst out on the lead is Big Carey. Underneath the ball, getting back again with Sims. He seems to be grabbed. The big fella breaks the tackle. Runs into the output goal. Does it brilliantly. Second goal, Peter Carey. Took off like the Melbourne Cup champion. And did it well. Kick away, not a good one though. Doothy. The runner is Sewer. On to Kernahan. He lines him up. The ball is coming back. It's going to bounce through. Oh, what a goal. Sims couldn't get to it. Four goals, Kernahan. And he's kicked them all in this quarter. Reed, a long kick to the half forward line. Seabome again. Oh, fine mark. Gee, he's done a fine job on Peter Motley today. Carey and Spiel. Very important tap this one as it goes to Duthy. Onto his boot quickly. 12-3 and Eddie Fry on the outer side. Sewer in there as well. Here's a chance. Tony Hall wants backup support. The handball goes over to David Marshall. Caught on the left leg. He goes in high. Goes in long. He's got it. What a beautiful running goal. Brilliant handball again. David Marshall's first. Not many of McGuinness's handballs have missed. Gee, that wasn't a bad tackle. Holding the ball. He's fought hard all day. And Howard will clear for the Blues. Kernahan. Oh, what a wonderful mark. Way out of position, but he managed to take it. Tenth mark, Kernahan. Took Barbary's spot. Big leap from behind. Fetke. Good mark. Parrish. Swings through the centre of the ground. Peter Carey again. In he comes. He's got this one. Well, the Bay captain would be delighted about this victory. McFarlane, he'll need help. Hewitt, out wider still as big supers, got it on the half-back flank. Peter Carey, McDermott. McDermott, probably Glenelg's best player last week. He's in very good form. A big challenge to Borchardt. Up goes Kernahan, he's got it. Great pair of hands. Kernahan normally a good kick at goal. That ball's coming back. Splits the centre. Watson to Bennett. Oh, good smart to Doofy. Which he should have. Still, it's in the pass now. Simons, 
Marshall. McGuinness is short. That's where it goes. McGuinness has got it. He had to stretch. Certainly too far for that player. Off he goes, though. Pretty loose, Bennett. McGuinness lines it up. Carey, a big leap from behind. He's got it. Oh, a big leap. He's got to play on. He turns it around. Onto the right foot. Two goals, Carey. No, I do think he couldn't take the mark. Gets the handball out eventually. McGuinness. He made the jog fall over them with a bit of magic with his feet. Kernahan, well, good mark. Winter will find it just as hard as Burgess did because uh, Kernahan's the best mark in the league. Simons came right across from the other side and marked in front of Filkey. Simons will line him up. The umpire watches it sail over the head. Quickly Seabone, McDermott, Marshall. Out wide, caught on the left leg, drives to the half forward line. Sewer's out there, getting back on him, summit it. Sewer puts out the pass for 12th three. He's co half forward. Well done, McKinnon to spoil. 12th three under pressure, whips out the handball, back to Duthie. Duthie in turn, back to Sewer. Actually conceding ground the base, puts it high in the air now for Kernahan. The big fellow's up, can't bring it down. 12th three, long handball out. Simons wants it, tapped on cleverly, can't get it fighting each other. Simon talks. I think he's got it, but all oh, they made hard work of it. Second goal, Simon. Parrish ran into Drear there. The umpire let it go. Filky. Kendall Aftis is gone. That's what you call being caught cold. Very good tackle from Fedke. He plays it on. Set to Fedke up. Doofy. Hall. Continually having to fight, jump fight opposition players. Here's a chance now. Sewer over the top. Oh, Parrish. <laughs> Parrish fumbled the ball. Peter Carey was quick enough to seize upon it and kick his third. Becky provides some run. Sewer has Carey in the square. Carey wants it in high. He's getting it in high. The big fellow lumbers to meet it, but I think in front it's Parrish. Evades Holst. Oh, big leap there from a good old player. That's Tony Hall. Marshall in the back play. Kernahan and De Jong. With Mark Kernahan. Quick Dirk gives him another push. Gets one back. Armstrong. Fedke. Duthi. Two grabs. Good mark. Bashes at centre half forward. Got the benefit of the bounce. McFarlane. Holst. Hasn't been in it today, Holst. Tony Hall. Good mark. He plays it on. He wants McGuinness. McGuinness very quick off the mark. That's a good kick. Peter Carey. Couldn't mark the ball. Scouting is Sewer. Back it comes to Carey. <laughs> the ball came back to him off Candle Aftis. And the big champion lumbers towards goal and kicks his fourth. Casual as you like. Watchard drives long in towards full forward, but Seabone getting back takes a spectacular mark. Another player who's played pretty well for the Bays, I left out in my early uh, summation, was Tony Hall. He's done some very useful things, had a strong body. Here he's in the action again now, gives McGuinness a chance, had a brilliant first quarter, but not a lot since then. Marshall thought about McGuinness in the 1-2, but now he's got to give it back to him as three players came down on him. McGuinness over the half-forward line, Kerry wants it in long, not going to get their parish out in front. Three West Adelaide players back there. Cantle left this winter. He's upended. Parrish in. Looking for a handball. Here it is. Straight into the open goal goes Kidney. And the Bays have got a handy goal on the board. Kidney second. Farms it out. Salisbury gives a chance. Simons hooks it back. Brilliant attempt. Fine mark right on the line. And I think fetke has got it about two metres out. Fetke who started on the interchange bench. Went to centre half forward, now he's full forward. Only his second kick. And it's a goal. No worries at all. Hey, you're no good to me. 